The Lord be with you. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and smeared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. So he went and washed and came back able to see. His neighbors, those who had seen him earlier as a beggar, said, Isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said, It is. But others said, No, he just looks like him. He said, I am. They brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. Now, Jesus had made clay and opened his eyes on a Sabbath. So then the Pharisees also asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, He put clay on my eyes and I washed and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such signs? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him? Since he opened your eyes, he said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and are you trying to teach us? Then they threw him out. When Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, he found him and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? She said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord, and he worshipped him. The Gospel of the Lord My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our Gospel today for this fourth Sunday of Lent, the so-called Litari Sunday, it reveals to us a very interesting reality that unfolds as the story goes on. These 41 verses of the Gospel of John are loaded with intrigue, cultural sensitivities, and controversy. The man blind from birth received his sight and believed in Jesus Christ. While the Pharisees who claim to see end up blinded of their ignorance. My dear friends, the characters seem to be a tug of war between the belief and the unbelief, tradition and culture, light and darkness. You know, my dear friends, light and darkness is a very common throughout the Gospel of John. It emphasized the blindness, the belief of the blind man, and the unbelief of the Pharisee. This story is delightful, matter of fact, and easy to read, especially for those who enjoy a tale of intrigue. Who is the bad person? Who is the good person? Will the good person win at the end? My dear friends, each one of us can identify with the characters in the story. For some time, we can be the Pharisees, struggling to believe and caught up to be blind of our ignorance and rebellion. On the other hand, we can be the blind man who begins to see and believe in Jesus Christ and acknowledge Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And so, my dear friends, as we come closer to the 
celebration of faith and light in the Easter victory, let us ask the Lord, asking Him to give His wisdom and light so that we can plainly see Him, see Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior of our life. And that the Lord Jesus Christ will remove in us what is in us, the blindness of our pride, ignorance, and sin. And so, my dear friends, let us ponder on this gospel by asking ourselves, what are the areas of my life that is in darkness and I do not allow to expose it in the light? Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving and merciful God, open the eyes of our hearts in faith, that we may be healed of our blindness, and see everything in the light of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.